What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, just bought something really excited about it. It's a Marantz Professional uh, MPM 200 or 2000 U. And uh, it's a USB microphone uh, studio condenser. I thought it looked pretty exciting because it comes with one of these noise isolation mounts on it. And, you know, when I do my live streams and whatnot, uh, I use a, a, a USB mic to my computer and kind of wanted to see how this compares, you know, to the BC Master that I use quite a bit. First of all, it comes with a plastic case. Uh, pretty nice. You know, it's not the super robust plastic case like a, a polyester, like a Pelican case, but it's very much like uh, this textured plastic, like a tool case, you know, a little thinner, a little, a little more basic. I'm going to put it this way. I suppose the label's on top and boom, look at that. Uh, egg crate foam on the top. And then we have the microphone, obviously down here on the bottom. I'm trying to balance everything. So flip it open like that. And let's take a look at what we get here. So, looks like we have oh uh, some instructions and content lists. We have the cord here, which is kind of like your printer cable. It's an accessory cable, nice and long, to USB. Here is the the shock mount boom, and. One of the things that I was really curious about is if this came with a tripod or not so that you could mount it in front of you. It does not appear to, even though you could probably mount a tripod here and then have this, you know, on um, suspended in front of you, and that would be kind of nice. But as you can see here, we have a, a metal ring, a mount with a screw in adapter there. It looks like we could tighten it down here. Absolutely seems to hold that in place. This is all metal. Looks like it's painted, maybe powder coated. We have a little metal sleeve here where the microphone will go in. We have a little foam liner in there. And then, as you can see, it has these little uh, brackets on the side. And the whole thing is suspended on what looks like, kind of like uh, a last, small elastic bungee cords. And that means, as you can see there, the whole thing is slightly isolated. So anything you do on the table won't necessarily get transmitted to the microphone. It's just kind of nice that it does it that way. Um, looks like we have clamps. It opens it up. So if I pull it like this, opens up that ring so I can get the microphone in there. All right, so that's pretty cool. I mean, that definitely looks professional grade to me. I've never had that before. And then here's the microphone. Uh, pretty standard size for a desktop mic and looks nice, feels good. We've got a a matte black finish here, Marantz Professional MPM 2000. Um, what is it called? Kertoid, uh, where we've got the little uh, heart shape on the front. As you can see, the microphone right there kind of facing towards you, so you speak into that. This is kind of that shape that it picks up. I totally slaughtered the term. I wish I were an audiophile. Nothing on the back. There are no switches or anything. I know that sometimes you can play with the pickup and whatnot. We have a metal grate over the microphone element there and then a band over it so you'll you'll speak into it in this direction right into that and then uh, we're gonna put this in here now theoretically there's no up and down and basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screw this into the arm I have one of those extending um, retractable arms so I'm gonna screw this into it and then I will install this which looks like you just squeeze these down and then it slides in there and should hold it in there nice and sturdy and then I'll get everything set up and we will test this out and see what we think of the audio quality. All right, people of Earth, welcome back. I've got the microphone plugged in here, the Marantz, Marantz, whatever. And I've got it lifted up a little higher than I would normally have it just because I wanted to get it in the shot to prove to you that I'm using it. As you can see here, we've got that noise isolating mount. It just screws into that retractable arm that I have. So that's really nice. It's a nice, easy setup. And you know, this is probably about where I'd put the microphone. Again, I'm just gonna raise it up a little bit here. So really curious to find out what it sounds like. I mean, hopefully, uh, you know, it's really nice. Hopefully it's as nice as the BC Master. You can probably compare it based on what you've heard here already versus what I've done in the in the, uh, in the the past. Now, you know, again, the way I, I shoot some video here and uh, live stream, I don't know that all the audio quality and video quality is always getting passed through to the end here, but I think this helps level up your game, you know, certainly better than I think using the microphones in webcams like that, uh, and even a kind of a lower end mic, you know, this was about a $50 mic retail, which means one, it's not a super high end mic, like some of the blues and shares and roads, which I'm sure are pretty good, but I kind of suspect it might get you really close to that. And because it comes with this noise isolating uh, mount, it's really, uh, 
you know a, a feature that you don't get in microphones at this price point now again you don't get the tripod which is kind of a loss you know i do like those because if you're recording something interviewing someone uh doing something at your computer or at a table you know and you can plug those things right into your computer and record audio that's really outstanding the other thing that i noticed about this particular mic that's a little different than my bc master and i really wish it kind of had is one of those little foam socks that go on top and i think they're called or called pop filters um you can get those filters that sit in the front. I don't have any of those, but I think that helps prevent, you know, wind from kind of blasting the mic and you get the pops and, and things like that. But uh, I might get a, a one of those circular pop filters for the front, but I did like that that foam sock set on my BC Master. That really seemed to uh, do a lot. You know, when I listen to audio from that versus something else like some of the five finds, you know, that bc master really 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 sounded good so i'm um, hopefully this one it sounds just as good and like you know i'm gonna raise the microphone up here just a little bit and i'm going to tap the arm you might be able to see it moving there but because it's isolated hopefully that doesn't transmit through the arm to the microphone as much as it would if it's just hard mounted like my old microphone was so hopefully this will be kind of it i mean if it works decently well at all you know i'm gonna stick with it but uh, here's the audio and um, obviously a video test with my Logitech here just to uh, try it out. So make your own decisions. If you really like this microphone, you might be able to pick it up um, and uh, use it for your application. But I'll put a link to it in the description because for $50, it seems like you get a lot with it. So, so far, impressed. Hopefully the audio sounds amazing. Peter Von Panda, out. <laughs>